So, while I was watching this episode, I felt like this episode mostly focused on, um, you know, what's happening inside the, this heaven instead of, you know, what's happening outside. So, the first thing I want to talk about is obviously I want to talk about the ending. The ending was surprising and scary at the same time, and I'll explain why I feel I feel like that. So, the reason it kind of creeped me out, because that kid, he, had, he must have, like, for him to say that, like, to to Tokyo in his dying, on his deathbed, pretty much, telling Tokyo to, you know, run away, this place is dangerous, um, is very alarming, because he currently he is suffering from, a, I'm guessing, an incurable disease that will kill him, and, um, for him to say that, like, he, he must have, he might, he must have known something to make him say that, and I wonder what that is, like, would they know of, um, that they were actually the ones who gave him that disease? Because we have no idea how he really got that disease. Like, we are only introduced to him when he already had it. So, we don't exactly know how he got the disease. And, um, yeah, but he went for him to say that, like, he must know some pretty dark, something very wrong is happening here, and... Yeah, that really surprised me towards them, but I also want to talk about a few moments that happened throughout the episode. So, the second thing I do want to bring up to you guys was that, um, the girl, after she, I guess, took him to see the babies, we see the babies and they're, what they're in it, uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know how you call it, the, those little glass boxes for babies, I don't know what you call it, but the baby is in that, and it's not even a regular human baby, it's what it seems it looks like, um, it's, it looks like some kind of hybrid between how humans you know, are born with their baby bodies and, um, you know, with one of those monsters. And we also get to see these, the, the supposed leaders, I guess, of this group. And, you know, obviously our main, the main leader is some kind of alien robot that, you know, controls everything and wants everything perfect and everything. And my theory is that somehow that alien came here, took over, you know, just pretty much was trying to find a nesting area to to procreate and have, you know, a lot of children. And I feel like these monsters, that these babies that we see in the lab are, you know, her, our babies are her pretty much like, you know, grand, grandkids or whatever. So I feel like that's what's happening in the story. And I feel like the humans are just like, um, I guess, test subjects or, you know, failures of the um, offspring because, like, they have su uh, superhuman ability. So I guess they're considered failures. But. The last thing I do want to mention was that we get a glimpse of the camera and we get, you know, we get, um, the scene when they're supposed to be on camera when they go into the, while well, they're supposed to show up on the security camera and when we see that while they're supposed to be on camera, they're not. So, I feel like something, someone is, I guess, messing with their technology. Probably the same person who sent that message to Tokyo in the first episode of, do you want to mm, go outside? And we get a letter, 
um, a later, um, what do you call it? Another example of this happening uh, in the episode. So, when the guy, the the kid, confronts the other girl about, you know, the picture you sent me was deleted or, you know, confront, confrontation about the picture, she says, I don't even remember, like, I don't even know what you're talking about, insinuating that someone else must have sent him that photo. And I guess throughout this, his hoping to his ultimate goal, I'm guessing, is to somehow um, disrupt the what's happening in the heaven inside the walls, I guess. Because, like, we're seeing some rebellious, like, um, you know, we see through, we see examples that the kids are doing things that they were not taught, and you know, obviously they're very small things, but I think it gets a uh, snowball into you know bigger things, and I guess that's the dream. But one thing I want to talk about before I end this video, and that is that while as Tokyo Love the baby. Um, repeated its name it said Tokyo so uh, for me that's very weird well it shouldn't really be weird because it's an alien baby but it's kind of weird that it could do that at such a young age especially when it's like it has no mouth it just pretty much looks like a huge eyeball so and it's frightening because like what if well actually no i can see this as a positive because what if now because obviously that baby probably imprinted or i don't know probably thinks of tokyo as well, some kind of close family member and then now when it probably you know grows up into this monster every time it sees tokyo or the brother tokyo that that is outside the wall they will probably like you know stop and like recognize and you know try to be friendly and everything because of that but um overall i just think it was pretty creepy but um yeah i think i'm just gonna end it there like i said i overall i think that episode was pretty good obviously we got a lot to um i guess inspect is the word a lot of things to talk about but um yeah, it certainly gets me very excited for the next episode, uh, for next week, I'm guessing. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.